Hey, it's JP with Retronyms, and welcome back to IMPC Prolog. Every week, we take a look at the newest features from the freshest development build of IMPC Pro. This week, I want to take a look at something that really is, in many ways, the heart and soul of IMPC Pro, the program editor. So I'm going to tab over to program mode here. And right away, you can see there's a bunch of data overlaid on the pads. There's a bunch of parameters. We're going to be looking at just a few of these today because there's a lot more to show in future videos. But basically, on the pads, we have a pad overlay showing kind of the mix. It's basically like sound level, pan, that kind of stuff. Uh, so you can see all the gain stages. And you can really think of this as the uh, kind of mix of all the pads and the sounds. So you can see here on, on bank B, we've got a slightly different level adjustment than on, on the other banks. You know, all this stuff's controlled over here. So I'm just really going to be focusing on uh, the top half of the parameters here. Uh, there's a lot to look at in this. There's a sounds mode where you manage all your sounds, params, which we're looking at today for the parameters. Um, there's still this secret feature, which I don't want to quite lift the curtain on yet, uh, but I will soon. And then kind of these, these top parameters, which are really about kind of the mix of the sounds and the sort of shaping. So you can see the sound name you have on each pad. So in the mix section here, we can look at, you know, basically we've got levels. You can see the, the gain stage kind of sliding up and down. And pan, same way. And tune. In addition here, we've got a little filter section. We've got this cool combo knob that does both low and high pass filter in one control. And the resonance, which really sets the squelch. And all of these knobs, of course, you can reset and use precision mode here. So I'll kind of set all these back. Cool. So, and I want to talk about the envelopes a little bit today. You know, basically everywhere we can in IMPC Pro, we're trying to take advantage of multi-touch gestural controls, and the envelopes are no different. So if you're not familiar, basically the envelope sets a parameters change over time on a sound. Uh, and so basically, if we look at amplitude, loudness effectively, uh, you know, I can set the attack time. And the decay time. So right now we've got this really sharp decay. It just ends, so I can ease that out. It's basically a fade in to fade out, simple. Uh, so you can do that in real time here, adjust multi-touch draggable envelope. But uh, filter's the same way. So if you have a filter applied over here, the filter envelope sets how the filter changes over time. So you can kind of get the idea of what's going on there. And, you know, really the other factor here is that we're dealing with one-shot pads. So in MPC world, like one-shot means you tap the pad, the whole sound plays. So if we go select a longer sound that's in hold mode, basically it just plays as long as my finger's down. And the envelopes get a little bit more complicated. Now we've got an ADSR where we have two more parameters. We have attack, decay, a sustain level, in this case a hold level, and release. So you can set the hold level by dragging up and down and the release time, just like every other handle. But basically, the hold level will set the level of amplitude in this case for as long as my finger's down. And release time, when I release my finger, it trails out. And again, filters the same way. So you can get the idea, there's a lot of sound shaping you can do in this, this section of, of the program editor. And this is on top of all the sort of waveform editing you can do in the edit mode, which I'm going to show some other time. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and break my, uh, my original rule and just slot in an effect here, talk about this thing down here. Basically, in addition to the, the mixer effects that we have on the tracks, we have pad effects. So each pad can have its own effects inserted. So we have this distortion, for example. All right, 
right? So we can get some pretty mean sounds out of this distortion and the filters going on. So basically, uh, that's it. And uh, I'll be sharing the rest of this stuff pretty soon. Uh, so thanks for joining us. Oh, uh, there's one more thing I want to mention, IMPC related. Uh, volume 8 of IMPC The Honest Truth is dropping, I hope, today. Uh, so if you're an IMPC user, you know what this is. If not, I'll have a link to it in the, uh, the video notes here, uh, in the description. This one's kind of special. Uh, Frank Friction, Booty Brown, aka Farside, is curating all the tracks and made an intro for us. So check this out. It's really cool to see what IMPC users are creating with IMPC. And you know, shout out to all of you guys. So again, as always, make sure to follow Akai Professional and Retronyms for a weekly video on IMPC Pro Progress. Thanks a lot. Yes, 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 yes,